Twisted Builds update. Welcome to what's going to be my new project. It's a 91S10 regular cab short bed, uh, V643, and a 5 speed. I think it might actually be the MV3500, but I could be wrong. I gotta look up the numbers. Um, it looks to me like an MV3500, but again, I could be wrong. Um, and this is going to be what I'm going to build into my new daily. I still have um, a, a little bit of work to it before I pop a motor in it. I've got to uh, redo the cab mounts. That's the big deal. i got to fix a little bit of bed. The back bed's a little soft in a couple spots. But the frame's good. Um, I picked this guy up for 400 bucks, Which I sold the last S10 I had for $400 on, uh, I think it was like on Sunday did title work on Monday bought this guy on Friday and it's I mean, it's super straight I wouldn't say it's clean as I said the uh, both I'm gonna have to replace both the drivers and pa passenger side floorboard and cab mounts um it's gonna need the front inner fenders as well the metal inner fenders they're kind of rotty but overall I can't complain this is exactly the type of truck I've been looking for and uh, I was going to keep this off the internet and off of my social media because I was going to make this into my own uh, unknown sleeper. But because of the fact I'm bringing a new product on board and this truck's going to be sporting it and also my demo on it, I decided I didn't have a choice and um, I have to show you guys what I'm doing with it. So I'm going to video everything. It'll be part of my Twisted Builds channel. Um, this thing is going to get the LS swap treatment. I've already got a 5.3 relatively built in my basement. It's Well, I should say the short block's pretty much built. New rings, new bearings, um, you know, re, you know, hone it, checked it all out. Everything looks good, cleaned it all up. Um, going to do a, you know, valve job on the heads now that I have my own uh, valve grinder, my ac an actual valve grinder. And um, this, and the main reason I'm making this video is, and hopefully I'm going to try this here, is, as I said, 5.3 LS, most likely going turbo, probably 7665, something quick spooling because it's a manual, I'm keeping it that way. And the engine management, Speedino. Look at that. This is actually the first one I've built. So, this guy is going to be running that on that truck. I'm going to either, I've got to figure out if I'm going to buy an enclosure or possibly print one. Not totally sure. But, um, it's a Speedino 0 0.4 version. And... I'm going to be building these, um, well, I'm going to sell them as DIY kits, like unassemb unasse yeah, unassemb unassembled, unsoldered kits, um, or you can buy them built, and like you have to put it in a box and everything, or you can buy everything, my plan is to buy everything plug and play as well, um, for my business, so, they're all going to be geared towards the LS platform for now. Unless you buy the DIY kits and then you can put it on whatever the heck you want. Um, no price point yet. But the object of this whole endeavor is going to be the absolute cheapest date in town for running engine management on a fuel injected LS motor. Um, I know plug and play micro squirts right now from EFI source are about 750 and they don't have idle or separate idle control which this guy that black chip right there is a stepper controller for an IAC valve on an LS um, this also has two stages of nitrous control it has boost control on board it has um, ethanol content sensor on board two and a half bar map sensor built in and will also be able to take an input for an external map sensor so if you want to run like an LS style map sensor that's a three bar or whatever you can run it on this board um, there are some other features I know I'm forgetting about but those are the main hitters 
And, like, again, idle control is not available on a micro squirt. You can't get two stages of nitrous control on a micro squirt. Um, oh, it's got launch control, too, and flat shift. Um, which flat shift is going to be used <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so the plan, as I said, is to, I'm going to get... I'm looking at con uh, good automotive-grade connectors for these deals. Um, I found one that I think I'm going to go with. And, as I said, I still got to get it in a box. So I got to figure that out yet. But right now I've been building boost controllers for my customers, and I'm currently waiting on parts. So while I was waiting on parts today, I decided I would put this together. But, um... I'm super excited to bring this to you guys. It is going to be an awesome, awesome engine management system. And again, as I said, I plan to have all those features on board with Bluetooth connectivity um, on all the units I sell plug and play. So that way you can, like, if you want to, you can use a Bluetooth dash, or I believe you'll be able to tune them via Bluetooth as well. I'm not 100% sure on that. But anyway, um, once I find out, you guys will know, obviously. But I would love to be able to sell these plug and play with all these features. I'm hoping in the $500 range. That's kind of my goal. I'm not sure if I'll hit that or not. I've ta I'm talking to a company out of Kentucky right now that's going to be doing the harnesses because I just don't simply have the time to do them. But um, we're going to see where it goes. Um, also, the business is going to be, and these Speedinos are going to be using a Xylotech Mega 2560. And I am now a reseller for them, for the Xylotech boards. They're based out of the um, manufacturer, or I, I guess the company I'm dealing with, which is Xylotech Engineering LLC, is based out of Houston, Texas. I don't think the boards are probably made in the States. They could be. I don't think they are. But um, they're very good quality boards. If you bought any of my Dollar Boost products, um, probably 90% of them I've shipped are using these Xylotech boards. I love these things. Every one of them I've ever had has worked flawlessly with no issues. And I have put like all my boost controllers and everything through a good bench test before I ship them out. No issues whatsoever. So, as I said, um, on my website that you'll see online, I am selling these boards. Well, I will be soon. But, I'm excited. This is going to be an awesome project. And stay tuned for updates this summer because it's going to go down. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.